I'm Peter Wanderer. I'm head of the Superconducting Magnet Division here at Brookhaven National Laboratory. We are looking at our universal winder, which is making a practice coil for a magnet which will be used at a new physics facility which is being built at Michigan State University by the Department of Energy, the Office of Nuclear Physics. The new machine is called the Facility for Rare Isotope Beams. The goal of the machine is to study isotopes, for example, which are formed in the first moments of the universe and which are also important to understand the lifetimes of stars. The way they do it is they collide heavy ions with a heavy metal target. They take the fragments of these, which are the rare ions, to uh, see how long they live and what they're composed of. The collection point is a point where you want the highest focusing power you can have and also the largest aperture. You get this with a superconducting magnet as opposed to a resistive magnet or a permanent magnet. The machine here is making a superconducting magnet for this purpose using a new material, which is called a high temperature superconducting material, also known as IBCO, YBCO. This material operates at a higher temperature than most superconductors available on the market today. This will allow the magnet to have greater flexibility in the operation of the machine with a lower operating cost. We are proud to be a part of the national effort to put together this machine at Michigan State. We have found through history that by making devices for frontier physics machines, we not infrequently come up with uses for practical devices which are very effective and helpful in the real world. For example, MRI magnets were made with a superconductor, nobium titanium, which is developed for making magnets for accelerators. So there's both a practical application and a long-term high-level interest in the physics which comes out of this machine.